how does one get started with meditation? I've just spent 30 days meditating every day for 10 minutes and I found some amazing benefits from more focus to just feeling calmer and even sleeping better. It's something that I've wanted to do for years but never actually delved into and actually committed to meditating for a period of time. So I wanted to talk about how you can get started and some of the best tips and strategies to make sure that you stick with it and get the benefits. So let's get into it. So number one, I would say, is finding a time that works for you. So for me, it was setting my alarm 10 minutes earlier to make sure I had 10 minutes in the morning to know when I could meditate. That was really good for my consistency. Some people might like to meditate maybe an hour or two before they go to sleep. So it might be 3 p.m. to give them more energy in the afternoon. Really figuring out what time works best for your schedule and being consistent with it, I think is a really good way to start. I'd also say make sure you have a relaxed environment. So while you can meditate in a busy environment with a lot of sound going on, when you're starting out, I definitely think it's beneficial to find an environment where the air conditioning and the heating's off, there's no sounds, your roommates aren't making a lot of noise around you. If you can find that, that's really great. I highly recommend downloading an app to actually help you start with meditation. There's so many really great apps to get you going, whether it's Calm or Headspace or One Giant Mind or Muse. There's a lot of apps that will give you guided meditations and make it really easy to get you involved and get started. My personal favorite was Headspace, which has 10 free meditation sessions. And then afterwards, I think they do a daily free meditation as well. Another pro tip is, if you want, you can buy something called a Muse brain sensing device. And what that will do for about 200 US dollars is it will track your brain waves while you're meditating and it gives you real time feedback based on how loud or noise the music is while you're meditating. And so that's really good for a person that, like me that loves data. I can get that feedback of while I'm meditating if I'm in that meditative state. And then afterwards I can track my data and results to see if I'm improving from session to session. I really wanted to make sure my mind was calm and I can find it frustrating when my mind's running and racing and that can be a little bit off-putting. But I think not worrying about the results but just making sure that you are being consistent and putting in your best effort is a really good way to start in the early days and those results will come and those benefits will come as you're being more consistent with the practice. Another big tip is just doing it. Just do it! Even on those days where you're busy or feeling stressed or got a lot going on, just trying to do it like two minutes or three minutes of meditation so that you're committing to the routine and the consistency, I think is a really good strategy. Everyone can find at least two minutes in their day if they really feel like this is something that's important to them. That consistency will help you continue to improve and commit to the practice. So meditation has a lot of benefits and if you do get started, you might see those very soon. I know that I started seeing some of the benefits like more focus at the gym or being calmer in my first couple of weeks. So if you've got any questions, please leave them below. If you want to check out my challenge of me meditating every day for 30 days and seeing how I went with it, check it out on my channel. And thanks for watching.